Welcome to this new video where we talk about balloon fab and its mechanics. So recently I noticed some people say wrong things about engineer in chat, not just my server but like BT servers in general. So I put up these two posts here um, to see how many people would actually understand how engineer works. Looks like people kind of understand that the cooldown isn't random, only two people voted for it. it like the correct answer is of course no, it, its behavior is predictable, consistent, like I can show you, I can show you the math behind it and how it works. But almost half the people say the m amount of money gifts is random, which it isn't. Both of these things are predictable, so let's go into the game files to see how it works and then I'm gonna show it in sandbox afterwards, my own sandbox because it's way better. And uh, yeah, let's uh, check it out. So first thing to note is cooldown time and fire delay time. These are basic things in the game for any towers. So fire delay time is how long it takes for a tower to shoot a balloon after noticing it. And a cooldown time is how long it needs to wait before the next attack. But before it attacks, you're also going to get a fire delay time again. So in between attacks of a tower, you've got a cooldown and the fire delay time together. So in this case, it's 2.8 seconds. Except balloon trap doesn't work like that. First of all, it will never fire a second bl a balloon trap when there's already a balloon trap on the screen, which is... Um, special but it has a second special mechanic called the ammo uh, mechanic so how this works is when you have an ammo the balloon trap will instantly respawn so you got the new balloon trap you could no but when you spawn a new balloon trap the ammo goes to zero but after new spawning a new balloon trap after 2.8 seconds you get one ammo back so if you're not f not forcing your opponent to fill up the trap within 2.8 seconds, your opponent will always get a new ammo in time for it, before it expires and have infinite traps. That's why the straight up echoing into a trap doesn't work because it fills it up too slowly and balloons will not really get past if the opponent is just hovering his curse or is constantly clicking the trap. It doesn't work. How you rush it is you fill the first one up then the second one spawns and then while the second one is after the second one spawns the ammo will be zero for 2.8 seconds so you have to so if you fill it up within 2.8 seconds every balloon within between it filling up and those those 2.8 seconds will go through I can show you this in the game. The first one, you're going to have one balloon trap down, then the second one will spawn instantly, and then the third one is going to take a while. Most people know this, like only two people said it was random. Uh, let's send the uh, mow up. By the way, uh, there are no AI balloons in this month. Also, you should, you should do uh, this thing here on the here, you should do that. <laughs> um, okay, now we just gotta fill it up with a whole bunch of uh, garbage. We're gonna lay a heart. So, first one fill, second one instantly, third one not here, not here, not here, not here. Now it's here. He, the third one takes longer. That's how this how it works. Don't. Okay, that's. Sell it, fill it up. Okay, the second part is well, in the portals, the first part is about the money. How does the money work? How much money do you get from a loan trap? Well, to understand that, you have to go to look at this max RB. Uh, well, let's start here. What is RBE? RBE is Red Balloon Equivalent, which basically is how many lives you would have, how many lives you would have leaked if you leaked those balloons. So this is 250 Red Balloons. 
Moontop can take 250 weapon wounds, but like um, a yellow balloon is 4 RB. You leak 4 lives when you leak a yellow. So, yeah, you can leak. This can fit 68 lead balloons. The 69th one will make it overflow and then it expires. But that's where the money inconsistency comes from. If you have exactly 250 into the trap, which we you get 275 because you get the 250, you get one dollar for each balloon, and you get an extra bonus 0.1. So you get 1.1 times 250 is 275 per full trap. If because you get money per RBE. But that's if it is exactly full. The problem is if you go to 249 and then you put in a ceramic, it still eats the entire ceramic and it still counts the R uses the RB from the ceramic in the calculations for getting the money. So you, then you're gonna get way more than 275. That makes the makes uh, the blue tap seem inconsistent because it never exactly fills up. You don't know what the last balloon is. Maybe you, you're gonna be at 230 and, f and fill it up with a rainbow. Maybe you're gonna be at 245 and fill it up with the, with the white. That all of the different things is different uh, things are calculatable and gives you a different outcome. It feels random when you're in a game, but if you break it down, everything makes sense. Let's try to show some examples. I want to have 250 first. Have not wrapped this whatsoever. Let's spawn with the mob because mob does not get eaten. And let's get rid of this because we don't want any other popping power get being annoying. Okay, how the fuck am, am I going to do this? Uh. Oh, balloon mat. Okay, I think I got something. So I'm going to send some yellows. Each yellow is 4 RB. Each set is just 20. So I'm going to send 11 of them. So there's going to be 220 in the trap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the trap hasn't expired. Then we're going to send two sets of greens. 1, 2. And this one's going to make it fill up exactly. And it's going to give me 275. Beautiful. And now I want to go way over it somehow. Um, how do I do that? Okay, so I'm just gonna place another balloon trap. Have another mob come my way. This time, I'm gonna send. Let's see, ten sets. Mr. Sen? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 200. Yeah, I don't count 240. I just got 240. That's easier. Then we're going to send 6 sets of reds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because 6 times 8, so we are at 248 now. And if we send a ceramic now, it's going to go way over. 387. How much is ceramic worth? 104 RPE. You leak 104 lives when you think a ceramic. So I went over by 102. So basically, let's get the calculator out. I went 248 plus 104 is 352 times 1.1 1 .1 is 387, which is the exact amount I just got. 
balloon fab money is not random. It's so that's how balloon fab works. Uh, hope this takes away all of the misconceptions about it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.